What's a fail-proof way of tracking your time as a freelancer? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a tool called Bonsai to track your time for absolutely free. Hey, it's Arnold, I'm a freelance designer helping you take your freelancing to the next level. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you haven't watched my last video in the Bonsai series, consider watching it here to understand a little bit more about the platform. So in freelancing, at least for me, time tracking is an essential part. It lets me calculate my loss, my profit, and just if I'm going way over budget for the client. So a software that I use to help me track my time and let my budget still be in frame for the client is a tool called Bonsai. This is their dashboard. The first thing that you see when you actually go into the platform and you sign up. And so the first thing you see when you get on the dashboard is this homepage, which is an outline of your project timeline, your incomes, and everything that you have for the total of that month, for example. The first thing you're gonna wanna do when you want to start time tracking a project is to click on time tracking. This is our dashboard for the time tracking that we have for all of our projects and for all of our tasks. You can see that it's empty. This is because it, this is a sample account that I'm using for this tutorial. But if we want to add some hours, all we need to do is click add hours. You're gonna to need to pick what project you want to add the hours for. So for example, I'm gonna use the same project I always use. We can add a task if we have one, if we have some tasks outlined. We don't have that yet, but I'm gonna overview that in the next video. We can select project member. So if you have multiple people working on the same project, you can add them in, but just since it's me right now, I'm just gonna add myself and we can add our hourly rate. So we can add, for an example, 100 hourly rates. And here we have two options now. We can either log these without a actual timer. So just me writing what hours I worked, or we can actually use their in software time tracking, or also we can use their application or their desktop. So we're gonna showcase the website timer and also the desktop timer. So for this example, we can just write a note of what we've been working on for these hours or for these minutes. So I'm just gonna say website design. And usually you wanna outline as much as possible so your client knows what you did. And we're gonna write in two hours and 30 minutes. And we're just gonna add these hours now. So now we can see that the hours are automatically added in and we don't have to do anything else. This is already tasked into the project and we don't have to change anything. If we reload the page, we'll see that we have a new unbilled amount and that is $250. That changes depends on how many hours you put. So since our hourly rate was 100 and we charge them 2.5 hours, that means that the billing is gonna be at $250. So another way that you can do that is you can just start the timer. And here we see that the timer has started and it's counting up until when you finish your task. We can select what project. And so we can also write in what we did and what task this is for. To stop the timer, just click pause and hit the back arrow. You don't want to hit the trash because that will delete. Another really easy way of doing that would be using Bonsai's desktop app. So to find that, you just need to click on the down arrow, go over Bonsai apps and go to Mac OS app. This will take you to the Mac App Store and it'll make you download it from there. Once you have that downloaded, you can then look up Bonsai on your computer, Bonsai Time Tracker, and it automatically has this page when you start up. So to then track your time on this, it's the same exact thing. You just have to click Start, click your project, add your rate, and whatever you're working on. You click Pause and you hit the back arrow. So now if we reload the page, we'll see that all of our now short time tracks that we did are gonna be in our project. We can then filter all of these hours depending on what project we did. So we have a lot of projects going on at the same time. We're doing time tracking for all of them. We can then divide it by client or by project. So that's about it with time tracking in Bonsai. It's really super easy. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. Do consider subscribing if you haven't already. I have a lot of videos on Bonsai coming up and specifically a lot of freelancer videos. That's what I like to do on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.